All right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for another edition of What I Drank Yesterday. We've got a lot of wine on the table here, so to speak, for this one, but no bottles of Perry Moore available. Our first uh, winery that stopped by, and Mickey Moore stopped in, one of the uh, partners in this small boutique uh, cult Napa producer. I don't know if you call them a cult producer, but they make a tiny amount of wine. These wines have gotten great press and uh, really good wines. We put them on the table with some of the top wines of Napa Valley, and they stand up. And uh, we had a new wine today, the Parody. All these wines were uh, 2008 vintage, the new releases. And uh, 2008 looks like another very good vintage from Napa Valley. And uh, 2007, outstanding. 2008, maybe a little more forward. 2007, a little more structured and classic. But both very good vintages across the board. 09 and 010, I think you're going to find a little more variation in those vintages. But... Hey, uh, the Paradis, a really nice bottle of wine, and, you know, black earth, firm tannins in this wine, you know, still round and soft, but uh, a long finish on this wine, lots of everything, lots of fruit, black currants, cassis berry, and 123.75, ooh-ah, you know, it's not cheap buying top-level grapes in Napa Valley, when you're buying from Dr. Crane, Stagecoach, Tokalon, names like that, you're going to pay big bucks for the grapes, so... You know, respectively, you've got to charge a lot for the wines. New oak barrels are, you know, $1,500 a barrel. It's not cheap to make great wines, and uh, I don't like the size of these bottles, but I have to say what's in them, very good. The uh, Dr. Crane, also most excellent, some fine herbs and dark chocolate in this wine. Uh, firm tannins, really long finish, though, and nice freshness on this wine. Lovely dark currant and cherry fruit as well, uh, $123.75. Hoo-wah, uh, again. You know, most excellent wine, but uh, you're paying for it there. The Napa Blend, a little bit lighter in the price tag at $101, but some nice smoky tobacco, bitter chocolate, and firm tannins on the tongue here. Big and balanced, lots of cassis and currant berry fruit. Most excellent juice again. The Stagecoach, this is the largest continuous vineyard in uh, Napa, but 500 acres, and uh, really outstanding vineyard site. You know, this wine had some bitter cocoa, really rich bouquet there, fresh earth leather, gravelly minerality, along with that black cherry kirsch-like fruit. A good deal of minerality from this mountain vineyard here also, but really fresh and balanced. Stagecoach, one of the top vineyard sites in Napa, and this wine most excellent as well, at $112. And then Tokalon, one of the greatest vineyards in Napa, located in Oakville. This wine firm yet rich and chocolatey, uh, spicy tobacco, currant berry fruit, really exotic here. Another most excellent wine. This may have been my favorite in the bunch here, but all these wines are good. But like I said, if you're going to pay for them, they're all 100 bucks or more a bottle. But hey, that's what we expect when we put that much money on the table, something that is good. And these wines definitely deliver with what's in the bottle. All right, coming up next, uh, some wines from Willamette Valley Vineyards.